sitting on the floor. <laughs> yeah, my elevator's broken, so. Oh, wait, no, I think fixed it. Here, here. Ah, ah. There, now it's working. <laughs> wow. Okay. Can you do the stairs? <laughs> Okay, no, no. I can do the stairs. <laughs> it's bad when you mess it up. <laughs> yeah, I love the laughter. All right, here we go. X squared. This one's really fun. This one's super fun. I like it. I really like it. So. Usually we solve by doing what for this? Factoring. Factoring, yeah. yeah. Factoring. Correct. So let's look at it. Can it be factored? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's try. Wait, no guess. Ten. It cannot. No. So we got someone saying it can't be factored. It cannot. So remember numbers that multiply to 18? Right, what are they? Six, six and three, nine, nine, nine and two, eighteen and one. Six, three, nine, two, eighteen, one. If we were to put six, three here, could that make ten? No. no. If we were to put nine, two here, could that no. make ten? No. If we put eighteen and one? That's no. 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 No, no, it has to multiply to make eighteen. So it can't be factored. So we have to have a new way to solve this. And the method is called completing the square. Here's how it works. Here's how it works. First of all, this number needs to be moved to the other side. The last number, the C, if you will. Yes? You add 18 to both sides. You add 18 to both sides. Thank you. <laughs> x squared minus 10x equals 18. <coughs> Bless you. We added 18 to both sides. Now, this number remains open. We need to find this magical number. What must this number be? so that it can be factored. And I'm going to tell you, bless you, how to make this, how to find this number. All right? Remember we talked about A, B, and C? Right? What's A in this case? X squared. No, no the number in front of X squared. One. 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 What's B? 10. Negative 10. 10, negative 10, correct. It's negative 10. Negative 10. And what's C? Negative 18. Negative 18. Negative 18. Good. All right, so the number here has to do with B. We're going to change B around. The number we put here is that, that's the formula A, B, and C, right? Yeah, yeah. The formula has A, B, and C in it. A, B, and C. So that's right. A <coughs> equals 1. B equals negative 10. And C equals negative 18. For now. Okay. So this number here, you take B, you half it. What's half of B? Negative 5. Negative 5. Negative 5, negative five. Negative five correct. So you take B and half it. That's this. B over 2. So take B and half it, we get negative 5. Then you take that number, negative 5, and you square it. So 25. 25. Right. Every time this thing here, this number, will be B over 2 squared. So we take B, negative 10, divided by 2. That's negative 5, negative 5 squared, 25. So we add 25 now. To both sides? Whatever you do to one side, what must you do to the other side? Same. Add 25 to both sides. So what, I, Question. what I don't get is, um, why, why would you half the, the B, the negative 10? Why would you half the negative 10 yeah. and square it? Yeah. Because it's the only number that we can add so that we can make something like this. We're going to make this. Now this is factorable. Not only is it factorable, it's a perfect square factor. It can be this thing with the squared on it. So we're going to talk about what this is. First of all, what's 18 and 25 together? 43. 43. Good. Okay. 43. Now, this number here. This number. Oh is always, what do you have guessed yet? Is it going to be the half of the B? So yes, it's B so over right, 2. So right there is negative 5? Yeah. <coughs> this number here will always be B over 2. Always, this number. So what is B over 2? 
negative five. Negative negative five. five. So, so this becomes x minus five. So this is x minus five. Here it comes. We're going to prove this now. Don't worry. x minus five. In other words, this part here, x squared minus 10x plus 25, and this thing are exactly the same. They're exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, prove that. Let's prove it. 